hello guys in this video i'm going to show you how to install debian 11 on virtualbox for those who are new to virtualbox now virtualbox is a tool which allows you to run different operating systems on your host operating system so let's begin first we have to download and install virtualbox it is really easy to download so let me show you how to do that now head to your browser and then search for virtualbox now the first page you will see up here oracle vm virtualbox you click on it and then by the left you click on downloads now it will take you to this page where you can see windows host over here so we are installing it on our windows machine so you click on windows host and it will download directly to your system now the installation process is actually very simple you just have to click on next and then install everything correctly now after installation this is how your virtual box will look like now we also have to download debian 11 iso file as well and the iso file is what we will use for the installation so open your chrome browser go to google and then search for debian so it will take you to this page you can see debian the universal operating system so click on it now this is the official website for debian which is debian.org and then click on download by the right so you can see over here download and then you will see the current version of debian which is debian 11.04 and that is actually what we are installing so what you do is click on debian 11.4.0 and then it will download to your system so you can see debian 11.4 is now downloading to our system i already have it downloaded so let's proceed now we have to create a new virtual machine where our debian os will be installed so you can see over here click on new and then enter a name for your machine so let's call this debian 11 so you can see once we enter the name debian the type change from windows to linux because debian is actually a linux based operating system so let's click on next and then here is where we select the ram size we want to allocate to debian so you can see on my pc i have 16 gig of ram and it is recommended to use at most 40 percent of your ram so i think i would use 4 gig ram for this installation so let me go with 4 gig of ram and then next now click on create click on next dynamically allocated next and now we have to set the rom limit the maximum amount of rom we want to allocate to our virtual machine so let's say 50 gig of rom okay so 51 and then click on create so now you can see this is the specs for our newly created machine and we can actually change this so you can see the base memory which is the ram and then you can see the video memory over here as well so we have to customize some of these things so for example i'm going to change the video memory from 16 megabytes to 128 megabytes so it would function properly click on ok and then i'm going to go to settings over here and then under system over here you can see processor over here then you can allocate the cpu you want your virtual machine to run on so let's make it three so our machine would run more smooth now let's click on ok i think we are okay with these settings right now now click on start up here now we have to import debian iso file we downloaded earlier so what you do is click on this disk over here and then we have to add the file by clicking on add and then locate the file you can see debian 11.4.0 and then let's click on open make sure it's selected and then click on choose and then start now let's go with graphical install hit enter now select a language and then continue select your location and then continue select your keyboard format and then continue Now set a host name. This is a single word identifier of your system on the network. So let's call this Debian host one and then continue. Now you can leave this empty. You can configure it later when you need it. So you continue. Now set up a root password which will be used to access Debian. So let's set a password and then continue. And then enter a full name for the user and then continue. Now set a username for this account. So let's just call this everything tech and then continue and then type a password for this username and then continue now you can set up the clock and time zone over here so let's go with the eastern time zone and then continue now we are going to use the entire disk we are located to our machine so let's continue this is the disk 55.7 gig of storage we are located to this machine so continue all files in one partition continue finish partitioning and write changes to disk so we have to continue with that continue 
Now change this to yes to write changes to the disk and then continue. Now this will start the base system installation. This may take some time so you can grab a cup of coffee and then wait. Now we don't have any media to scan so let's continue. Now choose a mirror location close to your network so let's select the United Kingdom and then continue. Here we set the Debian archive mirror from the list. Continue. Now let's leave this blank and continue. Now let's keep the survey and go with no. Continue. Now we have to set the desktop environment so we are going with the default desktop environment. Now this will retrieve files from the mirror repo and it will take some time so let's continue. So guys, the process is now completed but this actually took a lot of time. So now select yes and then continue. And then select the drive over here so whenever it will boot, it will boot directly from this drive and you don't have to select any other option. Continue. So the installation process is completed so when we click on continue this will restart so you can see our debian has been completely installed so now i just have to click on my profile over here and then log in with my password enter so guys debian has been successfully installed now this is really easy and shouldn't stress you now the last thing over here is to change the resolution of this machine because when we view on full screen it is actually showing just like this so we have to set it in a way that this would show full screen so to do that click on show applications over here and then search for settings click on settings and then under settings go to display so under displays you can see the resolution over here so let's change it from the default resolution then you can select your system resolution so for me i think so my system resolution is 16 by 10 so let me set that okay and then click on apply and this is how it will show so basically this is how to install and run debian on your virtual box if this was helpful kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification thank you for watching and i will see you on the next one